sorry if this is a long video i'm telling you guys i just had to do it i just had to do it for the one time for the one time hi you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sharde. if you are new here if you are returning thank you so much love today we have a very 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 exciting video these are my favorite favorite ultimately favorite videos to film continue to watch if you would like to know some really good summertime goodies, summertime must-haves. I'm gonna put y'all on, I'm gonna put y'all on today. If you like this video, make sure that you give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we should start with body care, makeup, fragrance, I don't know. So let's start with makeup, because I really wanna like, I feel like makeup nowadays is so like, Sometimes you're super into it, sometimes you're not. But when you are, you want it to give like natural goddess, glowy, summertime vibe. So this first product is Danessa Myrick's um, Yummy Skin. This is a blurring balm powder. And this is a very multifunctional powder. I am in the shade seven. So initially, I've actually used a lot, it may not seem like it, and it comes with like a little spatula, but I don't even know where mine is. I really wanted something like, to give me a no makeup, makeup kind of look. This product is very sheer, but it dries down to like a powder formula, so it goes on very wet. Let me, sh let me swatch it for you guys. So it goes on very wet, so this is what it looks like. Um, you know, like them old school uh, makeup, um, foundations that our moms used to use and it goes on very sheer but it dries like literally it's like my skin tone like no joke it's actually very difficult to find products that give you that that fine balance of being supernatural without coverage but giving you a little bit of coverage and finishing as skin and this really does give you a skin like finish love this you can use this under your makeup as a, a base you can use this um, under your eyes as a concealer base. It works really well. Or you can just use this as like a foundation, a light, light, light foundation if you're one of those girls that like, like that barely there look. This is a great, great product. Definitely worth the money. Next, I wanna get into um, this Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum by Keys. This is Alicia Keys brand. Um, and basically, I believe that this is kind of like a hyaluronic acid serum, but it has like a little bit of iridescence to it. It comes out like this. It blends completely sheer. And you put this on your face. Now, I like to use this in conjunction with other products or by itself. It gives you that very like healthy, I take care of my skin kind of glow. Like that sun hits you and you just have like that glisten. There's no like highlight or any type of like shimmer in it. It just literally gives you like, I'm super hydrated. My skin is very plump kind of look. It has like a, it has a very natural, scent to it um, and it hasn't broken me out which I have very 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 sensitive skin so I love that for me next we have the super goop um, sunscreen that's what that looks like and this is SPF of 40 and it's the golden hour this is the glow screen so they have one that's sheer um, I think it's called the sheer screen and then they have one that's a glow screen and they have this in a shade that is so beautiful for my skin tone. I absolutely love it. And it does still blend very sheer like it gives like um, a sheen kind of look and this when I'm not doing any type of makeup or foundation I love using this as like my just like base. This is a chemical sunscreen. So if you're not into that, that is something to be mindful of, which most people do use chemical sunscreens, they just don't know. But I have an issue with sunscreens that they typically break me out. I've tried so many mineral sunscreens, you guys. I've tried it from Sunday Fridays. I've tried it 
from Murad. I've tried it from so many different brands. And sometimes you can pay like a really big premium for certain type of sunscreens and certain type of formulas that they have. Um, and then sometimes they'll add tint to it even though it's mineral. Like even though it's not drying sheer, they'll add a tint to it to give you like a, like give you the illusion that it's blending into your skin tone but then you end up looking like casket ready. Or one time I was testing out this one sunscreen and I went to go get my eyebrows done and she was like, um, you need to exfoliate your face. Like, you know, it gets all that dead skin off. And I'm like, first of all, it's not dead skin because I do, I take very good care of my skin. It was the sunscreen giving me casket. So no thank you. It's super lightweight. It wears well. It feels great. And honestly, I have noticed that my dark spots and my under eyes have been getting lighter since wearing sunscreen more consistently. So highly, highly, highly recommend for the summer. And for my black queens out there, I know we don't burn, okay? But the sun ages you, okay? This is your anti-aging product, okay? It's not to give you like that gimmicky step that you're thinking that people are trying to sell to you. This is your anti-aging product. You can use all the retinols, all the whatever in the book, but wear sunscreen, it'll step your anti-aging game up a notch. Next, I wanna talk about this little Chanel, little foundation. Now, this is a sample. I'm gonna, okay, I am purchasing this today, you guys. I am testing this out. First of all, this is what I'm wearing today. Okay, let's let's show you in different lighting. So, this is a little bit of a brighter lighting. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, let me step back a little bit. Um, so let's look up the name to this one. This is the Chanel Le Beige's, Le Beige Healthy Glow Foundation Hydration and Long Wear. I'm in the shade BD101. Put this one on and I was like, girl, for real? Like, be so for real. I fell in love. You guys, I have not been wowed by a foundation in a very 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 long time okay so she's it let's get into the lip products i want to start off with the sephora rouge gel lip liner i love gel lip liners you guys i actually love them more than the pencil even though the mac lip liners are like cult favorites cult classics will forever be in my collection but this one is in molasses i got it during the sephora sale and this is what i love that it's one of those that you can twist up and twist down so therefore it's you don't have to sharpen it that's my favorite part because if you know which the sephora sharpener works really well with pencil pencil sharpeners i didn't grab it but i'll link it and i'll put a picture up right here get that get a, a get a pencil sharpener that is literally specifically made for lip pencils because it will eat at your lip pencil so rough so horribly that you're just wasting a whole bunch of money just by sharpening your pencil all the time i am wearing molasses right now um really love it it's really good um now the huda beauty one i love more than this one it's in one of my purses I, I switch purses out a lot. I don't know which purse it is in, but I'm like, you know what, girl? I'm not gonna let that deter me from doing this video, you know, cause the devil be busy. I'm like, let me sit down and do this video. I will talk about it. So the Huda Beauty one is amazing because it is like smudge proof. Like you will literally put it on your hand, let it dry down for a quick little second and go like that. It's not going anywhere. So that's why I love that one because it's like, once it's on, I know it's not gonna fail me no matter if I'm wearing lip gloss, lipstick, liquid lip, whatever the case may be, Huda Beauty is that girl. Now I wanna get into the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Lip Gloss. <sighs> okay. First of all, the color, beautiful. It goes on a little bit more opaque in color than what it actually dries down to. This is what I'm wearing today. 
a beautiful, beautiful lip gloss. It's gorgeous. The reason why I love this lip gloss is because it does give you a little bit of opacity. It gives you color. I love that. It's in a price range where it's not too terrible. I don't remember what it is, but I'll make sure that I link it down below. It's plumping, it's smoothing, it's nourishing. It's not sticky. It smells good. It smells like vanilla and mint. Hold on. Yeah, it smells really good. And the gloss lasts a long time. So unlike the NYX gloss butters, which I know that we all love, we all used to use them, it's an affordable, great alternative, okay? If you wanna build your lip gloss collection, play with lips and all of that other stuff, but that, it doesn't last to me. Like it'll, it'll give you gloss, but you have to constantly, constantly, constantly put it on. Like So like when I'm around people, I want my lip gloss to last. I want it to stay there until I'm ready to reapply. So this, will do that for you and they have really pretty colors they have like a really pretty pink and of course you guys know uh, mix it with that brown lip liner and it's 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 gonna do what it needs to do next I have the Tarte Maracuja juicy lip plump love this now this one is a gloss but in a like um, chapstick kind of like um, packaging so this is what it looks like and this is in the shade. I'll, I'll link it down below. I don't think it's on here, you guys. I'll make sure I put it on the screen. Um, so this is really nice. I love taking this to work some days because it's just like a quick little, like I don't have to pay attention to where the lip gloss is going and it's messy and everything like that. And this gives you a really pretty like color. Like it gives you like pink, but the pink that looks good without a, a, um, a brown lip liner. Now I'm gonna show you guys this one, this very, very popular product that I thought was overhyped before trying it. You know how you just think that stuff is overhyped before actually trying it and then when you try it, you're like, okay. This is the one for me and I use a lot of this and this is the Dior Lip Oil. Um, and everybody talks about the applicator. The applicator is fire. It's so fat and it's so soft. Let me put a little bit on. See, you can even tell like it's more pink right now than what I have. It gives you color. You can wear this without a lip liner, with a lip liner, without makeup, with makeup, and it's gonna perform for you. It's gonna look gorgeous on your lips without it looking like lip gloss. It's gonna look like an oil lip gloss. So it's not necessarily gonna give you like chapstick or like super oily lips, but it's definitely gonna give you a beautiful, 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 beautiful shine. Um, I'm definitely a Dior lip girl. Now, I want the Cherry Lip Maximizer. It looks beautiful and I would love to wear it with like red outfits or whatever, just to give it that like, that red lip, but that summer red lip that's not too heavy, that's giving gloss and beauty and oh, I just love, love Dior lip products. I wanna talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless setting spray. If this is another TikTok hyped, makeup community hyped product that is definitely worth it. I've been using this on my makeup clients and it says party all night, stay all day. And that's a fact. That's a fact. This, okay, it looks like this, right? But the mister, do you see that? The mister. No droplets. Look at that. It smells good. Mm, it goes on so light. And you're, you can use this as a primer or a um, set. And it says set up to 16 hours. Instantly lock in for makeup magic. Looks like you just applied it. Yes, 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 Charlotte Tilbury. You did that with that one, girl. I guess I have one skincare product that I can show you guys. So these right here, you need these for the summer. You need these for the summer. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross. Okay. 
These are the Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel Pads. They have them in sensitive and they have them extra strength. I did the medium one just because I have sensitive skin, but also I'm like approaching 30 in a couple of years. So I'm definitely more intentional about the anti-aging products that I use. And also I use these like twice a week. You can use these every day, but this is something that you have to build your skin up to because it is an acid. I typically use these after I've spent a couple of days in the hospital. So let's say I had two 12s back to back. I'm gonna probably use it the next day just because of germs. And I like, I use this as like my, I want my face super clean and give me a good reset. Like I've been putting serums on, working out, you know, edge control all up on my face, all types of stuff. I like to use this as like a reset um, and give my skin a super good deep peel clean and everything and typically if I have a pimple or if I have anything it's typically like on its way out the door a day or two after I use these so this definitely keeps my skin beautiful now let's get into some body products let's start off with the Dove body wash this is in the glowing one mango and almond butter now you guys remember I don't where I swear it says new on here because I swear they only had this scent in the um the scrub the body scrub and it smells you guys when it comes to almond oh my god I love an almond smell that's why I'm about to get damn near the whole L'Occitane lined line because mmm oh my god mango and almond be so for real this smells amazing amazing and i think they have a lotion in it i need the lotion like asap but go and try this scent because it is so so good now let's get into these right here y'all y'all know i love y'all because let me tell you let me tell you something i've been done with this bottle for like two months <laughs> literally like eight weeks and I'm like, you know what, let me save this for my YouTube channel to show them how much I love these products and show them my empties because, you know, then it really, like the point hits home when, you know, you have those product empties and then you know that the people are really using the products because I'll never come on here and show you guys products that I'm not using. So this is, this is the proof, okay? First of all, this is the Urban Hydration. And I've seen, you remember, this product used to be like on Amazon for a really long time, if you looked up like vanilla oil. And they finally made it to Target, and I was kind of looking. And you guys, they have the, um, like when you want to go and smell a product, they have this covered. So of course, being who I am, I wanted to just kind of like, just fill it up just a little bit. To smell it because I don't I'm sorry I'm so big on scents that it's just like I can't buy a product without smelling it like no so I'm like okay it doesn't really have a scent to it the vanilla one doesn't really have a scent to it it smells like a natural vanilla like a very nat like the flower that's on here that's what it smells like like a vanilla natural flower but it'll go with everything so I'm like okay I'll buy it girl I get up to the um the checkout, everything, all, everything in my basket got oil on it. So do not peel these back. Or if you do, make sure make sure you purchase it for one, okay? And then for two, keep it upright and don't put it in your bag or anything like that. Just because this is a very liquidy oil. It's not like the Vaseline gel. This is an oil oil. Same brand, different scent. This one is my favorite so far. This is the Peach and Papaya Brighten and Glow. Um, peach and papaya everything oil. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so light, but like peach. If you like Jimmy Choo, I want you. If you like um, perfumes de Marley, if you like those kind of peachy scents, this would go so perfect, like a peachy, fruity, but it's natural at the same time like don't think that it's a strong peach scent it's very faint but it smells good it's gonna have you smell like she's clean like she smells really good she smells like a woman actually i'll show this body scrub obviously everybody knows about the way body scrub 
Your girl bought this for 20 bucks at Ulta when they had the 50% off the hair event. What a steal. Melrose Place. I have the per I've had the perfume Melrose Place for like three years now. I bought it before the pandemic and I bought it before like the whole hype around it came. And once I've had like a scent in my collection for a while, I'm not like, I'll love it, but I'm not like crazy over it, if that makes sense. So even though the hype came after the fact, cause a lot of the time your girl be like on it before things go viral. Cause I do a lot of shopping, especially for body products. Um, but now I'm back in love with it. I'm back in love with the scent. It's amazing. It's great. Uh, I want the body butter to go with it. This scrub is not like the tree hut scrub. The tree hut scrub is more abrasive, which I typically prefer. But this scrub is kind of giving like a second body wash. Like it suds it up. And then it leaves like a hint of like residue behind to moisturize you. Kind of like how the um, shower oils work. So I really love this as like, just to clean the day off, a light exfoliating, but give me a nice feeling luxurious feel on my body. Let's get into some body butters. So I have three body butters here, I think, yes. So the first one I want to mention, this is a small black owned business. Um, this is nothing but butter. And initially I seen this on Pinterest, hold on. Initially, I've seen this on Pinterest because I think it was like, oh, Summer Walker uses this scent, which it was the, um, I have the body scrub. I should go get it, but I don't really feel like it. Um, it was bougie. Bougie was it. And I really wanted the bougie body butter, but the bougie body butter was out of stock. So I'm like, okay, let me try the soap. Love the soap better. Um, if you like it's a delicate soft illuminating if you like soft vanilla powdery mm, and pear i think it is hold up having a little bit of a malfunction here this is beautiful and especially if you like thick body butters that make you shine giving shea butter kind of feel this this one is for you if you don't like like raw shea butter and how that, that how greasy that leaves you do not get this, but if you love that that vibe where you don't have to mix oil into your lotion to give you what you need, um, my black woman will understand. This one is it. You don't need anything addition to this. I love you doing this one, going to bed. You feel so soft. Your man thinks you feel soft. It just, everything glides on you. This is amazing. And then I've worn this during the day and I mixed it with multiple perfumes. And typically people like smell this like whenever they like describe they're like you smell really good like you smell like a really expensive cocoa butter like that's what that's the compliment i get when i i wear this even when i wear additional perfume on top of it because i feel like this is thick enough and oily enough to where the perfume kind of the oils kind of soak up that alcohol in the perfume and your perfume doesn't project as much which we'll get into that in another video um when you're layering layering with perfumes you need if you want to use an oil you need to use a perfumed oil in addition to your perfume, not necessarily a super oily, like whole body care routine. You want your body care routine to be moisturizing, but you don't want it to be super oily because the oils will weigh your fragrance down and it won't project as much because the alcohol is what's radiating off of your, um, your body and the oil is what's giving you the longevity. So if that makes sense, like longevity and sillage are different. So this is really really good if you just want to just smell good like especially for those who work in healthcare and you just want to radiate like cocoa butter and like you're clean and you know you're just wafting through the halls and you're smelling good and inoffensive this one is it right here next i want to get into the sol de janeiro beja floor elastic cream got the little one i know this isn't new and like i said you guys your preference and taste and scents, I don't know about you, but for me, it changes as the season changes. Like I, I've had Baccarat, I have dupes of Baccarat. Like I have the actual perfume, a dupe of the Baccarat, um, a perfume oil of Baccarat. And I'm just like, 
Baccarat just isn't impressive to me anymore, you know? But lately, I'm just like, there's, there's, I'm sorry, but there's nobody topping her for real. Like if you want to be really, really serious, as far as the most versatile scent profile that is feminine, that is inoffensive, that is sweet, but not too sweet, that is clean, that is woody, that gives you everything that you could ever ask for. I'm sorry, but Baccarat, there's nothing topping Baccarat. Now it is overused, it is the most duped product there is out there, but for a reason. And I'm sorry, but it smells amazing, and I don't smell a lot of people out there. The only time that I smell people wearing Baccarat is when I go into the Scottsdale Mall, and I may smell like one person every now and then because I go to the mall a lot. I may smell one person every now and then and I know right away, okay, they're wearing Baccarat and it smells amazing and they're all the way across the room and I can smell them all the way over here. That's how I, I know. And it's a very distinctive scent. And first of all, Red Temptation smells amazing by Zara. They didn't have a Red Temptation summer that I could smell. But anyways, I digress. Put this on, Baccarat is one of the best fragrances to layer with and this gives the same vibe as Baccarat. I wouldn't say that it smells like Baccarat. Baccarat smells a little bit more like molecular and dupes have more of a scent like they have more of a jasmine this that that that. Baccarat smells more of like there's no notes to it it's just a mixture of like molecules so but this is amazing um, the scent I will say is amazing. The lotion itself is not that great. I have to mix it with oils, which I do mix it with the vanilla or the peach or whatever to give me the consistency that I want. And what I'll do is like, whenever you have like a, a really perfumed lotion, all you really need is a little bit, just hit the top half of your body, especially if you're wearing pants or you're going to work or whatever, just hit your arms, hit your neck, hit the back of your neck um and your hands or whatever and then spray your fragrance now if you're wearing your legs out that's a different story you want to hit them legs too make sure that you add that oil to spread your product a little bit more get more bang for your buck and yeah you'll be smelling good okay next i want to talk about the sorry if this is a long video i'm telling you guys i just had to do it i just had to do it for the one time for the one time i know y'all like these short little videos in this TikTok generation, but we this was necessary, okay? So the Josie Moran Vanilla Apricot. They have other scents, which I'm sure that they smell. Ah, oh, really good. Now, it really does smell like an, an apricot. I said apricot, apricot, same thing. It really does smell like an apricot. Like you, like you know the seed of an apricot, you know when you like bite into it and you can smell it? That's what it smells like with vanilla. And it's it's faint, the scent doesn't last forever, but when you first put it on, showstopper. Showstopper. Now this consistency, oh I didn't even show you guys the, the inside of it, my bad y'all. There you go. You see that? It's not doing anything, <laughs> it's thick. <laughs> So this consistency, very good. I'll put a little bit on. It gives you a sheen. And like I said, I've been super into mango, peach, apricot, all of those, they're so like sexy to me. So I'll put some here. I made sure I didn't put like a lot of products on my arm because I'm about to start swatching stuff for you guys. But I'm gonna rub this in. Look at the consistency. And it's not like that because you see that you're rubbing it in and it is still white. It's gonna give you a really pretty little soft sheen. Do you see that sheen? Look at that. Come on now. Let me show you the other arm. See how dry that looks? You see? You see what I'm saying? And it makes you really soft, actually. Love that product. Um, pairs well with a lot of like summertime fragrances. Do not regret it whatsoever. Now, Let's get into some other oils, some other glow oils, because now we're getting into the glowy stuff. I wanna talk about the Kopari Sun Shield Body Glow with SPF of 50. Let me turn this to the side. Okay, this is a new pickup for me. Okay, so this scent is coconut, hibiscus, and 
cuckoo nut oil. First of all, I would like to say that this smells so good. Okay, it's almost like, you see that? Has a little bit of a, um, a serum-y kind of feel to it. This is what it looks like on the hand. And then on the shoulder, like, mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, look at the difference. Now, I said, you seen the difference when I showed the Josie Moran. This one is gonna leave you a lasting glow. Let's put some, uh, do I wanna put some on my chest? I don't know. We'll see, because I have another oil that I may wanna put on my chest. This smells so good. First of all, and you get SPF 50 protection with it. And it smells good. It smells so tropical. It smells so beachy. It smells coconutty, hibiscusy. Smells very good. And the glow in it is very pretty. There's no like shimmer. It just makes you look like you're just ready for vacation. I love it. Let me get into now. It's time to get into like my love. My love, my love, my love, you guys. I'm like. You know how sometimes it takes everything in you not to gatekeep a product or a scent, but like, I can't expect for you guys to subscribe and show me love and like my videos and continue to come back if I don't give you what needs to be gave. This right here, I know everybody's a Sole Blanc, okay? Everybody is a Sole Blanc girl. I am a Sole Neige obsessed fanatic like I die for Soleil Neige oh my god oh my god oh my god now do I wish that they had the gold specs with this absolutely but this one I'm telling you 10 times more fragrant than the Soleil Blanc oil 10 times more fragrant um the scent is 10 times better <sighs> I need the fragrance of this I don't want to bite the bullet, but I might have to. Oh my God. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so silver specs. Hold on, let me. Silver specs. I've used this so much, and look how much is still in there. I've, I've used this, so I use this on a daily basis. I use this for casual I use this for special occasions I don't care what it is if I want to feel good and smell amazing this is what I'm using so it comes out like this okay mmm that smells so good mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna I'm gonna read you guys the notes of it and then you rub it in mm. and I'll even take I'll go I'll go through my hair and I'll even go if I'm wearing long sleeves, I'm gonna go like this, especially if it's a black shirt, and I'm gonna go like this on my black shirt, literally. Okay? Like, that's how much I am so obsessed with this freaking oil. The scent is so phenomenal. Honestly, I think that's my signature scent, and I don't even have the full um, bottle. Fresh citrus and fruits, it is bergamot, jasmine flower, and lemon. That's on Sephora. Now let me show you, do you see the stars? Do you see this, the ratings? Do you see that? Okay, exactly. Exactly. This is what Fragrantica is saying in here. Top note, bergamot, carrot seeds, white flowers, orange blossom, jasmine, rose, Turkish rose, benzoin, vanilla, and labdanum. That benzoin and vanilla on top of flowers, on top of bergamot. <sighs> mm, bergamot is like one of my favorite like top notes ever. All right, now that I'm done being dramatic, let's get into some fragrance. Um, so let's do replica. So this is replica bubble bath I will say summer must have you must have a travel spray perfume with you because your fragrance is not like well for one let's start with for one so
Summertime fragrances do not last as long as your dark, ambery, vanilla, cinnamon, all those heavy, heavy fragrances that perform better in the wintertime, those last longer than your more light and citrus and berry and all of the fruity whatever. They don't last as long, okay? On top of that, you have heat and humidity that is like literally evaporating your fragrance faster. <laughs> um, so you definitely want to have some sprays. And I will give you guys a tip. If you want to test out some fragrances, or if, let's say you have a travel spray or a little sample size, if you want to test out some fragrances, spray on the back, like spray heavy on the back of your neck okay and then whatever on the bottom on your bottom half of your body this will help you to not go nose blind to it and you can actually see if it's actually lasting because i kid you not when every time you turn your head every time you're moving every time the wind blows you're going to be able to smell that fragrance there and you're going to look up and be like oh my gosh it's been eight hours this fragrance actually does last versus spraying ch -ch 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 here and then you go nose blind to it and you're not really giving the fragrance a good chance so spray on the back of your neck if you like smelling yourself I will say that and I like smelling myself okay this is replica bubble bath um ah oh, smells so good very musky I love musky fragrances if you like Mojave ghost this gives you the same vibe a little bit more clean a little bit um slightly less woody and um, a little bit lighter, but same vibe. Musky, clean, um, and a fraction of the cost of um, Mojave Ghost. So let me give you the notes. This is in the scent profile of Fresh Florals. It is a soap bubble accord, rose um, super essence, white musk, and coconut milk accord. Smells very, very good. Now the reason why I like this for summer is because one, it's clean. Um, so even if you're sweating or you're just out and about, you're going to smell very good. You're gonna smell like you showered. You're not gonna smell sweaty or like outside. We all know what that smells like. I will say that like once you've sprayed on your other fragrances for that day that are in the summer profile, whether they be fruity floral or clean or fruity or whatever musky um this is gonna still layer well with it to top off whatever you have it's not gonna like blend and be super obnoxious or weird with the other ones because it is a clean musk next i don't know you guys this is burberry her when this fragrance first came out i was getting into fragrances and i was like literally in all 10 sephora like every other day smelling fragrances and she made her appearance back in I don't even know probably before the pandemic and I really liked it but at the time you know when you have other things on that wish list that came before you I have to kind of prioritize that a little bit hold up I was like what's going on here um <laughs> so um you I was like I have to prioritize the things that I've been wanting for a really long time so I've made a, quite a few perfume purchases before I could get to Burberry Hurt because I would always constantly smell I'm like, eh, it's whatever. Because remember I told you that that Baccarat kind of scent was just like whatever to me after a while. I don't know. And now I'm coming back to it, especially with the um, cream in this. And I, oh my God, you guys, let me just finish the story. Burberry Hurt. Oh my God. Strawberries. A strawberry baccarat like oh it's so freaking good okay so I was like I need Burberry her in my life like I need it full-time people say that the longevity on this one like it's really 50 50 either the longevity is good on you or it's not now me I really can't tell because whenever I use this and I'm topping off I'm just spraying everywhere and sometimes I'll get hints of it but I get compliments on it but I can't personally smell it but I was like should I get Burberry her or Burberry elixir and when I put Burberry her, I'm not even supposed to be mentioning Burberry her elixir right now but when I tell you that scent makes like my eyes roll back. Like it is so, if you're in that strawberry milkshake, 
Delina exclusive, um, Yara, all the popular fragrances that are within that scent profile. When I tell you that scent is so freaking beautiful. It is incredible, it is beautiful, it is feminine. It is so womanly, it is so good. So I think I want Burberry Her, the original, even though I had the elixir, because she's different. She's different to me. Like some people are like, if you have one, you don't need the other. I'm sorry, but you need both. <laughs> I'm the worst person to ask that question to. Because, oh, oh my God. She's gorgeous. She she's gonna go she's gonna go with everything she's gonna go with every single outfit she's gonna smell good the guys are going to love it the girls are going to love it you're going to smell pretty this gives pretty like just got your hair done lashes are fresh nails are beautiful skin is glistening okay very cute active set on okay with very cute like sneakers Nike Chanel whatever kind of sneakers in a cute bag with iced coffee in hand okay that's what this gives i'm sorry i'm sorry but the the girls the it girls love burberry hair next i want to talk about one of my newer babies she's the robot the paco rabanne um fame paco rabanne fame now a lot of people are comparing this one to Alien Goddess by Mugler. I don't think so. Alien Goddess is way more white floral. It is white. It is like, I don't know if it's tuberose or what. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. Cause I think Alien is beautiful, but there's really no need for it in my collection, if that makes sense. Like I really don't need another Jasmine scent um but this is beautiful and i'll tell you why this is a warm floral i'm gonna tell you the three main notes in it mango the mango in here okay mango jasmine and incense how often do you find a mango scent with florals with incensey darkness to it at the same time like a woody vibe to it how often do you find a mango woody scent stunning this reminds me of like what a shanti would wear or something like back in like 2000s that's what it that's what it gives like her videos on the beach looking fine like this gives vacation pretty girl summertime hot girl summer it's so freaking pretty and mind you it mixes well with your other like beachy kind of scents so i'm gonna show you guys this dossier powdery coconut let me show you but this is a um Tom Ford Sole Blanc dupe, or not a dupe, but a recreation. And this has cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, ylang ylang, tuberose, jasmine, cedarwood, amber, benzoin, coconut. Use, okay, to create your own beautiful scent, you buy fragrances like you would your clothes. So, unless you just want that statement piece, if that makes sense. So you want things to go with your wardrobe. You want things to go with your scent wardrobe. So depending on what you're trying to curate for your summertime scent, you can get scents that will blend well with other scents or by themselves, okay? So powdery coconut is one of those suntan, luxurious kind of smells. This goes well with anything summery, okay? Anything white floral, vanilla, jasmine, cardamom, okay? Woody, if you have something that's woody and you wanna lighten it up, make it more summer vibe, 
top it off with this. And it's gonna hit, it's gonna hit, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, oh my God, we need to speed this video up because we've been here for a long time. I'm gonna close it out with these two oils right here, these two perfume oils. This one is the Ness one, the Madagascar Vanilla, not a new scent to anybody. We all know and, oh my God, we all know and love, look how much is in there. We all know and love this goes with a lot of things. I wouldn't say it goes with everything because it's not one of those vanillas that's like vanilla. It's one of those vanillas that's coconut, okay? So coconut doesn't go with everything, but coconut and vanilla go with all of these scents that I'm showing you. It amplifies the scent. This will last longer than, this will outlive your any of your fragrances, damn near, okay? This will outlive it. Beautiful, gorgeous and lasts a very long time. You don't need to buy the $100 one, get the $35 roll-on ball, and sometimes I'll roll, like if I wanna spread things out, you know how sometimes you have the dropper and you can you easily spread it out? You take that thing and you start rolling, and you roll and you roll and you're gonna get that oil up in your hand. That's when you can use it like on your arm, in your hair, you know. Mm, I smell good. So that's when you use that. And then this one is from Fragrant Body Oils, which I've mentioned them in like a video long, long, long time ago. And I stopped wearing them for a while just because like, I don't know, I was going through a stressful like situation. And when you're going through stressful times, like transitioning into a new life and a new career and graduating school and stuff like that, when you're going through a stressful situation, you're not really like, you're doing the steps, you're going through the motions, but you're not really like taking that extra time, extra step to make you just feel womanly and feminine and smelling amazing. Like you smell good, but smelling amazing? You need these oils if you wanna smell amazing. Basically, mm, this is a love don't be shy. Wasn't into this one for a long time, but this one, Love Don't Be Shy and Oriana, I still don't know if I wanna buy perfumes in my Marley, Oriana is still, eh, we'll see. I probably will freaking love that scent in the fall. I cannot, mm, I can't wait. I'm probably gonna die for it in the fall. Um, But, ooh, I just might've did something with that one. But Love Don't Be Shy? is really doing it for me in this oil. Like I will put this oil all on the back of my neck, all in my hair, and then I'll top it off with the fragrance. I will give a lot of compliments. I'll say that anytime that I add the oil with my fragrance, anytime that I add any oils from this company with my fragrance, people smell me. I don't have to be close to them. I don't have to give them a hug. I don't have to do the most. I just walk by, I'm just cute, I just smile, and I'm friendly, and they're like, you smell really good. You smell very clean. You smell amazing. Can you write down what you wear? Or it could be weeks, and somebody could be like, you literally always smell good. Can you tell me what you're wearing? Like, I'm telling you, you guys, I'm giving you some gems today. I'm giving you some gems. If I had to break it down to three products that I would absolutely, absolutely recommend from each category, because I can't, I can't pick like that. I would say the body wash. Ooh. Girl, I can't help you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just playing. Soleil Nash. Dang. Okay, Burberry hair. Burberry her. Sunscreen don't count. Sunscreen don't count because that's just like a need. So that don't even count. Mm, this is so hard. This is okay. Um, Dior lip oil. All right, fine. The nest. Fine. This isn't even three from each category. I just just totally messed it up. But just know everything is heat. It's heat. I'm telling you. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much. If you've made it this far in the video, you know that it was worth it. Um, I love sharing these amazing products with you guys. It was well worth the wait, in my opinion, because I feel very proud of the products that I'm showing you guys and that I've accumulated for the summertime. And it's obviously going to keep going as I keep going, as I keep growing, as my style keeps changing, as my scent profile keeps changing. We are going to just like have fun this summer. like 
yes we got we have to do business but i really 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 want to just have a good time smell good eat good and just you know enjoy the summer enjoy life so if you enjoyed this video make sure that you give me a big thumbs up i hope to see you guys in my next video so thank you guys so much for watching of course i love you guys stay encouraged um and i'll see you soon sunlight that always stays dinner by the waterway it's that sweet life raise your cross made some do crack a smile he asked if i could stay a while